Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancier. I'm called to make us a new message to speak about this, this great integration of this great portal of energy. We've been receiving intense energies and we're prepared for a new birth. It's like we died. The old self of 3D died and now we're reborn. We, we're really, it's a new, new birth, a renaissance that is really unfolding. And so it's like the doors of heavens will open up. It's like my, remember what the Christ said, my father and I are one. So if we, this is an essential, remind yourself. My father and I are one, and then you align with the will of God, which which is can be challenging. Yeah? But God is is merciful, understanding, and he understands exactly all that we all that we are, and all that respond, and all that. So just follow to to, to be teachable by the, this this subtle presence. The more we are able to recognize the presence of God within all things, within us first, <laughs> but within all things, the more uh, God will be able to recognize us as well. Right? It's, uh, we cannot control the light. We can just hold the light and let it be, let it do its work. This, this divine presence, everything is synchronized within the great I am. To connect to God, we can connect through the feminine or masculine principle, the divine mother, the Tao, or the divine father, the Christ, uh, and then the, the Adonai, the one, or Allah, or Brahma, depending on your culture, and those are personalities of God. Um, and so, so the father, mother, one, and this is integrated within the I am presence, which is an extension of the first source and center for um, for this universe is very vast and uh, we, we will understand how it is organized later how it works and, and all the wonderful spirit that are working to make it work that are present in their work to so that we can have this physical experience for there is the there is inner circuits to the universe. Once we open up to the inner planes, we, we're getting new circuits where we are able to, to connect and communicate and, and do all kinds of things on the inner planes. But uh, it, was, it was revealed that even those inner planes of the universe, where the, where the spirits utilize that for communication and, and action, so, uh, travel, whatever. Uh, that the, the paradise spirits that are working in our universe do not use that. They have their own independent uh, circuits of communication, the, the innermost... Um I'm always curious to discover, to understand that we do not know that much. We, we know that we do not know, and then from there we become teachable. It is very Socratic. For Plato, explain, um, so, so it's like we have the father, mother, and the one. Then there is the whole company of heaven, and then we have our own higher selves and guides. So those, those are like three forces we need to invoke all the time, realizing it's all about coming to the one. My father and I are one. A one with the Creator, whichever way is comfortable for you, but there could be no separation within God. God is not fragmented; is only fragmented for the purpose of evolution as a temporary experience. And so, um, so it is important to know that we, we have all those energies to, to and higher intelligence. We can counsel, we can ask, we can uh, that will intervene between us and the source that will assist us in the manifestation process. What we seek is to be accomplished. For, for Plato used to say that was out of a hundred men, they may be a hero. Out of a thousand men, they may be a philosopher. But I will take, we'll have to, have to take maybe a hundred thousand men to have somebody who's accomplished, to have resolved a certain inner process that, that creates a solid connection to his own inner world. And that is really what we seek. We need to complete each of the seven circle of consciousness, and we need to complete them all at the center. We stand at one with the creator. And then we move on to the next level, of course. It's always higher. There will always be something new. God is not uh, is infinite. So there is concentric circles. If you're in an inner circle and you see people learning some very, very dark things on the outer circle, you just understand that they're, they're learning their process on the outer circle. So just to continue to cultivate your own sense of well-being without the judgment or having been... been, um, been uh, um, uh, moved by 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 what uh, everything that tries to take away did your joy is not a good idea to allow that for more than 15 seconds joy needs to be activated joy joy which is a permanent energy that becomes permanent once we reach a higher plane above the the pendulum of duality and the, the push and pull of the third dimension so we're going to be going in circle until we get, we learn the lesson of, of of whatever what is god trying to teach us so just becoming aware that all of that is a stage orchestrated, the, the, the plan for the planet is orchestrated, but the, the plan in our life is staged. And everything is, is organized in such a way so that we can uh, learn certain lessons and fulfill certain experiences. 
And so everything is all about balance, about bringing the balance. And, and uh, we, we do need to integrate this, this understanding, this unity with the source within ourselves. First we sink it, then we feel it, then we realize it, then it becomes real. And then we manifest it, it becomes real for everybody else as well. So it's, it's going to be, it's a very, this, the Paradise Ascension, Ascension plan has very little to do with the earth, but we can still do so much good in terms of incurring lucidity, wisdom, love, compassion and to to face the, to to have the courage to expand our consciousness so that we uh, but then it's like this is, the, the universe is, uh, is so amazingly uh, perfect in, in its in its the, the ascension par the paradise ascension pass is something grandiose that we'll discover for god is the truth and the life and so we we have to trust that the, the more we are able to to surround uh, our our energies to, to the lead of the creator, the will of God, the will of the creator, the more things will flow. It's like, like the Christ said, uh, find the kingdom first and then everything will flow from there. And well, I hope this message was interesting for you. We, we, we feel that day after day we have to, to, to be fearless and to continue to cultivate this sense of, um, this sense of, um, of union and connection to the, to the creator and to all the, the benevolent forces of the universe. The observer of the day is deep knowledge. So this is deep knowledge, this connection to the source. Yeah, the match is revealed through the intuition, through the dream state and so on. The highest wisdom is milk and honey, focusing on the good life. What makes us feel good? What do we want? And that is really what is being prepared for us as we... We, we, we eliminate all negative projection. We, we, we remain with only positive and then we're ready to, uh, to embrace them. What we need to understand is the thinker, to be ready, to have your plans, to, to be strategic, to be... Uh, to, 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 there is a lot of... Um, there is a spiritual connection, which is unique, but there is also the way we're going to be coming into the world. So it's like we do need plans. The highest, the, what we need to do is nothing is better than your home, to feel good in your body, to feel good in your environment, and to continue to, 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 en or to envision a, a, a situation that would be uh, much more ideal if you're not feeling like if you're already in your, in your dreams, dream home, then just enjoy it. But if you're not, there will be something better that will be coming. Just need to, it's always easier to, to visualize what you want as a final outcome than the, the, the money to get it, for instance. The, the universe can find a way to provide, but you have to have a final vision or informing, continue to inform the universe of what you need, what you want. Your guides will be aware, aware of that and they will assist you in making it possible. And the outcome is to be really anchored within the daily experience, the simplicity of life, chopping some wood. It's, it's about being humble and being, uh, being really anchored within each moment of life. And, and here, until the, the, I've seen myself, there, there is great freedom that is coming. It's going to be quite wonderful. But I, I'm going to take it slow. I'm huh? very, very, I'm going to take it slow. I'm not going to be uh, um, rushing anything. It's not, uh, things, it's good that things happen. Um, one step at a time. The, the observer of the day from the Akashic perspective is the spirituality and religion. This is spirituality and religion. It's, some, it's, it's something that's going to be really much coming to the forefront of the collective consciousness as well. The highest wisdom is to resolve the dichotomy between the yin and the yang, to, to, to find the harmonic position in relationship to the energy of act, action and, 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 and non-action between the the mental and the emotional, for the mental will often trick us into believing something that isn't real. So just stand in being and, uh, and also with all the relationship outside of us. The, what we need to understand is the lessons and the good deeds. What we need to do is to hold the hand of God. <laughs> just, uh, so uh, my, my, the cards confirm what I'm saying. My father and I are one. Uh, it's a very, very important mantra to realize. And so, so you call on God to, be, to become one with you. you. The more you'll be able to recognize what God is doing for you, has been done, doing, the more will lucid you become. And for that is the only true power. There is no other power. <laughs> the, the two powers of individual will and uh, uh, th those are just temporary game that, that is being played for evolution purposes. And the outcome will be the arts. We're going to be able to create. We're going to be able to enjoy the beauty. The arts were given for the discovery of beauty. Well, I thank you so very much for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I thank you for your your donations, and if you want a private session, you can send me an email. I'm finished with this song that goes completely through my mind all the time. It's 
I'm gonna, I'm learning it. So maybe I, it's about an invitation. It's it's symbolic on an invitation of relaxing and vacationing, and it's called Kokomo. Aruba, Jamaica. Oh, I wanna take ya. Bermuda, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. Key Largo, Montego, baby, why don't we go? Of the Florida Keys, there's a place named Kokomo, and that's where I wanna go to get away from it all. Bodies in the sand, tropical drinks melting in our hands. We'll be falling in love to the rhythm of a steel drum band down in Kokomo. Aruba, Jamaica, oh, I want to take her. Bermuda, Bahama, come on, pretty mama. Key Largo, Montego, oh, I want to take you down to Kokomo. We'll get there fast and then we'll take it slow. That's where I want to go, way down in Kokomo. Old song of the, from the Beach Boys. So vacations are coming. Huh? I know it is. I'm not sure where, when, with who, <laughs> but I know it is coming. In the meantime, the observer of the day is temperance. To, to not go into extreme, to keep things balanced, to keep the light side dominant within yourself. The highest wisdom is potentiality. To be able to see already what's potential before us and rejoice and be grateful for what we see when we see those beautiful possi poss possibilities. We have to really perceive things through, the, through our intuition, through our third eye. There's new senses that are opening within ourselves as well. What we need to understand is well-being. All those things that bring us well-being, that make us feel good, that... Um, what we need to do is liberation, to, to be reborn, to be liberated. I do feel a great deal of liberation that is ahead. It's going to be quite wonderful. I feel I've been living in captivity all my life, and all of a sudden, the freedom will be... It's going to be nice. It's, we're going to take it slow. Huh? We'll get there fast, and then we'll take it slow, as the song said. And the outcome is optimism. Huh? Stay, stay positive. Do not let anything... The, the mind will trick us into believing in all kinds of negative things, but... It, connect to the joy. You know, it's always there regardless of the, the, the field of energy that could be surrounding us. Those are tests, challenges, preparation. Want to breathe, let it go, trust, call on your guides, call on your angel, invoke the presence of the creator. Remember, you are the creator in form, and so there's a great deal of responsibility, but be kind and slow and, and take it slow and, and, and continue to cultivate this sense of, of loving yourself, loving, loving God, loving yourself, loving the world. For the, the true connection to God has to happen within, and it will remain, um, for the, of course, people can connect to God as a We'll connect to God as a dissension as well, but 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 it's because we already have the connection within that we can have this dissension of consciousness that can show us all the that can um, continue to uplift us as well. Um, I thank you so very much. Wish you a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Have a night.